Hi, I'm Bob Wilbanks with Ambassadors for Business. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about the first letter in equipping, which is the E for engage. The scripture reference that we anchor this with is Ephesians uh, 4.18, where it states, they are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. So it's our job as ambassadors for business to meet people where they're at to help them engage in a more intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. Well, how do we do that? To me, it's certainly not getting out in the street corner with a, you know, a sign saying repent and banging a drum. Maybe there's a place for that. But I, in the marketplace, probably not. This is about relationships. This is about earning the right to be able to express your faith to another person and help lead them towards that intimate relationship. As you meet people, uh, it's fairly simple to get a gauge of where they're at. You can ask them simple questions like, what are the three most important things in your life? And if faith isn't one of those, <laughs> probably got some work to do, right? Uh, if it makes those top three, maybe we can help those people grab for that next rung on the ladder, right? So how do we go about doing that? It's really about being relational with each other, deeply caring about that other person that you meet and putting their needs in front of your own. If we can live our lives like that, we can be that salt and light within the community. And I just want to make one other point. I believe we can be too salty, right? So we don't want to lose our flavor. We don't want to lose those opportunities uh, to actually uh, impact others. But watch how you're doing it. Make sure you've earned that right with them uh, uh, before you go after it. Because like when I was a little kid, I used to, you know, I, I put salt in my hand and lick it, believe it or not, kind of icky, right? But there were times when I got too much of that. And what, what did it make you do? If you get too much salt, it makes you want to throw up, right? So be careful is what I'm saying on that side of things. But also be bold. How do we know how to do that? Well, that comes into that intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. And we'll cover that in another one of the videos. Thanks for watching. And I hope you stick around and check out some more of what we're doing on our YouTube channel.